Oh, as much snow as I've shoveled this past 10 days, it feels like it's never going to stop. Yeah, I know the feeling. We are dealing with an historic first alert day as we have seen a massive winter store blanket northwest Ohio. Our first alert defender is tracking the road conditions this afternoon. As you can see, these side streets here in North Toledo, yeah, barely making it through there. Our entire team has been working hard for you all day, all morning into the afternoon. Now we've got our Kaylee Kirby tracking conditions down in Finley and our Zainab Shaib is with ODOT and Northwood. We're going to get to them in just a moment. But first, we want to send it over to First Alert Meteorologist Chris Vickers. Chris, over a foot of snow in the Toledo area drifts much higher in other parts. So how does this storm rank? Well, I'll tell you what you heard from Chief Meteorologist Robert Shields last night. He was saying top five in his career. And in fact, that is held true across Across the area. It uh, was a big snowstorm that brought over a foot of an accumulation. Now just tapering off to a few flurries. We'll put this one in perspective in just a moment and we're going to stay brisk and cool through the rest of the afternoon. These northerly winds going to still result to blowing and drifting of that snow. So as far as records go back at the 1950s when it uh, has been official at Toledo Express Airport, this was the third largest snowstorm on a record over a two day period. And yes, some of you have been asking even more snow than the blizzard of 78, much less wind associated with this one. Still over a foot of snow and we're still seeing sort of a really decent mix of some sun making its way through and a few flurries that are still falling, but no accumulation going to be expected. It's brisk and cold if it's even afternoon of sled riding or snow shoveling. Sub zero wind chill still showing up for a few areas north and west of Toledo. We'll stay in the upper teens through the afternoon. Blowing snow, light flurries will be expected, but no real accumulation anticipated. Another round of light snow could be possible by week's end. I'll detail that. Coming up, full 10 day forecast in just a little bit. All right, Chris. Now we are starting to see a slight improvement in some road conditions right now. Wood, Fulton, Henry, Sandusky, Williams, and Paulding counties are now under level two snow emergencies. The rest in our area, including Lucas, they are still under a level three. That means roads are closed and you can be ticketed for driving unless you are an essential worker. So if you don't need to be anywhere today, folks, it's really just best and safest to stay home. We're continuing with our team coverage on this first alert day. Our Zainab Shaib is live right outside ODOT's garage in Northwood. She's keeping a close eye on the road conditions. Zainab, you also have been out there all morning long. Have you noticed any improvement? Well, Amanda, uh, the weather condition has been a little bit better. Earlier it was uh, pouring snow, but the crews are still out here working hard. And with us uh, through FaceTime is Rhonda Pease. She's the regional public information officer for ODOT. And Rhonda, uh, you say crews are going to continue throughout the day, correct? Correct. We have been on 12 hour shifts uh, in re response to this storm since Sunday. And now we are in cleanup mode. Um, last night we had all kinds of conditions that you can imagine. Uh, our drivers said uh, it was a pretty much a zoo out there to describe what one driver said. Uh, blowing and drifting whiteout conditions, um, and they fared really well with that. And now we're in cleanup mode, and we expect to maybe stay on those 12-hour shifts uh, through yet today. So what can uh, the public know if they're going to head out to the roads today? So things are cleaning up really well, but we are not down to bare pavement and you shouldn't really expect to see bare pavement because we still do have some winds, especially out in the rural um, areas. So we just caution drivers to always slow your speed during any, any winter driving. Um, that's the one thing our drivers um, did talk about today is the number of drivers that they observed who were driving too fast. And we did have several um, trucks struck uh, throughout the state um, as a result of driving uh, too fast and being too close to our plows. Well, thank you so much, Rhonda. As you heard from her, if you happen to be out on the road, kind of cautiously go around ODOT drivers as they make their way through your neighborhood or through uh, the streets and highways. Reporting live in uh, Northwood, Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11. Zainab, thank you. We continue our first alert weather coverage with Kaylee Kirby. She took a trip down I-75 to Finley. Kaylee, you've been out there all morning. I know you were kind of locked into the parking lot there have of the hotel. It looks like they may have started to plow it out there. 
<laughs> they definitely have, Amanda. Conditions on the roads here have changed over the last uh, six or so hours since I've been out here. Now, I started this morning early, and this entire parking lot was white, white out snow. I couldn't see the road or anything. Now you can absolutely tell things are different. We've got snow that's plowed up against the uh, sidewalks of the parking lot. Things have totally changed. Uh, plow crews came into this area around nine this morning and started plowing and you can see that all of this has changed. After that, um, my photographer and I actually went out on the roads and drove around just to see what everything looks like. Those side roads still a little bit slick, uh, still have a little bit of ice and a little bit of snow, but we drove over the overpass and looked at I-75 as well, and that actually looks pretty clear. So things are definitely seeming like they're improving right here in the Finley area, especially in our parking lot, which uh, is, is good because I was scared that we weren't going to be able to get out um, because we know that crews take uh, take more time to get those major roads before they hit parking lots and side roads. Uh, we did talk to the Hancock County Sheriff and he said that uh, Hancock County will likely stay at a level three for most of the day. There is a possibility that they could change it. Uh, to a level two, but that all depends on how road conditions look as the day progresses. Um, but from right here where I'm standing, from what we can see uh, on I-75 and US-224, things do continue to improve, and uh, there are seeming like a little more people coming out um, as those road conditions improve. We will continue to keep you updated and stay in contact with the Hancock County Sheriff to see if things do change with their snow levels and we will absolutely let everyone know online and on air if that does change. Reporting live in Finley, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11. All right, Kaylee, thank you. And there's a reason why snow emergencies are in effect. AAA reports since midnight, its roadside rescue team has received more than 130 calls for help from stranded Northwest Ohio area drivers. AAA is also seeing increases in calls for drivers who are trapped and needing to be rescued from inside their vehicles. Now, during the winter months, especially, it is important to keep that emergency kit inside your car. The heavy snow doesn't slow down for emergencies. First responders are out in the elements, saving lives in this wintry weather. We talked with the Toledo Fire and Rescue Department. They're working with the city to coordinate plow trucks to clear way on those runs. It might take us just a little longer due to, to the conditions, to the roads and stuff, but, but we will get to you and we will take care of you to the best of our abilities. And we're told fire trucks just aren't built for this heavy snow, so the city and fire department have to team up this way. When it's cold like this, frostbite can happen in minutes. If you're getting frostbite, your skin will turn cold and red first. Then your skin will become numb, hard, and pale. Doctors are seeing more cases of frostbite this time of year. My feet were frozen, stuck to my shoes, so then he took me to the hospital, and then that's when I found out I had frostbite. Doctors say to limit your time outside, dress in several layers of loose, warm clothing. And if you have to be outside in the cold, it is best to keep moving. With the cold weather, you want to make sure your pipes don't burst in your home. The American Red Cross says you should know where your main shutoff valve is, seal any air leaks around your pipes, and turn your faucet on slightly so that there's a constant drip. You should also keep your cabinet doors open to let that heat in around the pipes. People all across the area have been hard at work digging out after last night's historic snowstorm. Some use snowblowers, some use shovels. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> this is the kind of storm where neighborhoods, well, they come together to help one another out. Try to get a neighbor to help. If you don't have a neighbor, um, try to call somebody because this, it, it doesn't look like a lot. I mean, it is a lot, but it's heavy. It's fluffy and heavy. Now, if you are out shoveling, be sure to give yourself some time to rest and be careful in case there's any ice below that foot of snow that has fallen. It's easy for you to get the forecast in the palm of your hand. Just download our First Alert weather app, or you could text the word snow to 419-248-1100. You'll get everything sent straight to your phone. And we want to see your pictures of your favorite snow activity. Just text us your pictures at 419-248-1100. Well, the weather caused cancellations and delays of coronavirus vaccine appointments right here at home and across the United States. The CDC says nearly 53 million doses have been administered out of just over 70 million distributed. Around 14 million people have been fully vaccinated. You can head to WTOL.com for information about whether your vaccine appointment has been canceled due to the snowstorm.